It's Sunday. It's Mothering Sunday. You expect me to make a video on Mother's Day? I have better things to be doing. Well, that's not really true. I have more useful things I could be doing, like helping with the gardening. First order of business. You challenged me. You gave me a challenge. You said design a logo. You gave me nothing more than that. You've clearly never worked with graphics people before. A little bit more of a brief would have been useful. It's a good thing that we've discussed this before. Oliver, you asked for Jesus on a unicorn. Bet you thought I couldn't deliver. I do have an example. Probably don't want to use it. I didn't actually make this. I just googled Jesus on a unicorn. And, surprisingly, Jesus on a unicorn exists. I mean, why not? He's Jesus. It's a unicorn. You can do that. It's fine. So, you know, that's the first logo. The second logo, which, uh, you know, probably to be serious, and actually the one we want, um, yeah, I made that. I decided, in our mediocre theme, in our mediocre ways, that perhaps, rather than using Photoshop, CS2, I'd just use paint. So I did. And I made special use of the airbrush tool, because who doesn't remember those days when you were a kid and you were just like, yeah, look at me, I'm so cool, I'm airbrushing everything. And, uh... Relating to that mediocre Socrates thing you've got, that's in there too. You need to probably tell me what you think of these things, rather than just going, design a logo. But it's done. Logo is designed. Should have probably been revising instead of designing the logo. But we're good. Right, now onto the topic of the week. Rock videos. How dare you? I don't know anything about British supergroups. It's just, I'm just a fraud, a sham. My, my knowledge of rock is flimsy at best. I thought it would be funny, I could, you know, pick the Beatles, which, as James knows, I've never listened to. So that's shocking and exciting. Instead, I shall go for a band which I own way too many CDs, and I need more. I haven't got enough. I've got way too many of their songs, but... Yeah, Runrick. You said British. You didn't say English. British. They're Scottish. Close enough. They weren't really a supergroup, per se. You know, I don't think they ever got the kind of crazy following the Beatles did. But they've been around since 1973. That's pretty old. Older than me, anyway. So, um, probably didn't really affect British music too much. In the sense that, you know, they were folk E, They sung in Gaelic, which is quite impressive. I mean, who does that? Why would you sing in a language only spoken way up? Way up north. Way up. So, I, I, I like that. I think that's cool. So... Yeah, that, that's that's it. They they got big big fans in Germany. James, you find out why they have big fans in Germany. You should know. Can't really think of three modern day bands. I can think of one who I will post a link to their video. They did really well. They tried to uh, break into the charts. They did amazingly well. I think they number one in the UK singer songwriter, number six in the indie charts. It's all good. I'll put a little link to that video. Now my one nice interesting random fact about the band. Because, this is a really cool one, they wrote this wonderful song. Uh, it's basically, big F you to the record producers, and it's wonderful, and I love it. I'm going to post a link to that video too, so you can see it. Um, and some links to the lyrics, because not like any of us speak Gaelic last time I checked. I mean, I'm probably the best, and mine's dodgy at, you know, at best, really. So, yeah, that's my nice interesting fact. Let me know what you think about the logo, and I have better things to be doing, because it's Mother's Day, so I'm going to help with some gardening. Okay, see you all.